สะภะคะวะโทอะระหะโทสัมมาสัมพุทธัสสะนะโมทัสสะภะคะวะโทอะระหะโทสัมมาสัมพุทธัสสะนะโมทัสสะภะคะวะโทอะระหะโทสัมมาสัมพุทธัสสะบุตรังธรรมังสังขังนามสัมิสวัสดีครับทุกคนสวัสดีครับทุกคนสวัสดีครับทุกคนสวัสดีครับทุกคนสวัสดีครับทุกคนสวัสดีครับทุกคนสวัสดีครับทุIt's uh, <clears throat> this is the uh, you know the first real I would say like big public gathering uh, for the this Clear Mountain project, uh, and uh, just so many people have responded, uh, and it's quite uh, quite heartening and 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 really uh, inspiring. Um, <clears throat> To see that that people are interested and have sort of, sort of goodwill towards this 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 project, this idea, and uh, and of course, you know, uh, ideas and vision need to be kind of clarified, uh, and uh, uh, just having the. Um, The sense of as a g e n k o v i l o and a g e n i s a b o set the theme for the day of finding our home. Um, I can't say <clears throat> an important theme to 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 recollect and to bring to mind. And uh, I was in my. Talk at Sims last night. I said that there was, uh, you know, there's always uh, part of the kind of practicing and studying the Buddhist teachings. So what you keep uh, and trying to train, what you keep coming across is all these various paradoxes um, uh, that uh, <clears throat> that seem to be discordant somehow. So that finding a home for a bunch of homeless mendicants, <laughs> you know, oh, how's that work? <laughs> But you know, it's a reality that uh, as uh, um, in even you know, beginning from the time of the Buddha, it really wasn't that long after, say, the Buddha and the very the wanderers. <clears throat> Started to there's just this sincere interest uh, within the culture, within the society, and uh, to have the presence of of uh, of a monastic example, and uh, the and I think it's a, a really important uh, example uh, in a uh, and I think even in a say a modern. American culture uh, to have the the site of a uh, site of a summon, a site of a religious seeker, uh, because it reminds us that, say, the purpose of our life is not just to make more money and die with more things. <laughs> it's just, it's just that's. It's just not what it's all about, and and uh, <clears throat> to be able to cultivate uh, really uh, oh, skillful, wholesome qualities that uplift the heart, uh, and to draw together with others who have a similar similar aspiration, similar vision. So that that's that's what a Uh, say a solid monastic presence can can bring, um, and uh, you know it is it's a it's a good example for others. 
It's also a good reminder for us that are, say, in the robes, in, in, the, in the monastic form. Uh, because you know, sometimes people think that <clears throat> somehow, you know, people ordain as monastics and they live in monasteries and they just live in sort of harmony together, meditating in bliss all the time. And I can assure you that's not the case. <laughs> it's just, it's just, it just ain't how it works. As human condition is the human condition, uh, and we we really need uh, we need all the support we can get, and uh, so that uh, having having the presence of a of a monastery, having a place that one can <clears throat> gather and support each other. Uh, and to give and share with each other uh, is really important. But it's also when you're, and particularly at this time, which is really early stages, uh, to be able to <clears throat> um, yeah, clarify your vision of, of what, you, what you want to be doing and what you would like it to be. Uh, and refuges and precepts and the, the the kind of the fundamentals of the of the Buddha's teaching as a basis because whatever you do you really want to to have the Buddha as your refuge you really want to have the Buddha as the the kind of both the informing and inspiring uh, basis and foundation so that one of the the things that that comes to mind is a is a teaching that the buddha gave on communal harmony and of course it's a, a teaching that applies to whether it's a, in a family in the world a group of friends together a spiritual religious community or a society at large these are principles that 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 apply and and that that and the buddha was such a master at teaching both the you know the way to say full liberation through um, penetrative insight uh, arising from the, the the meditation itself but also the the foundations how to live a, a really skillful human existence uh, so that they, uh, there's four principles that are referring to as you know, the basis of communal harmony. One is generosity. The other is um, really kind speech, loving speech, um, acts of service, um, or skillful conduct, uh, and an and evenness of and consistency uh, in in the face of all conditions and these are really important qualities to be reflecting on um, you know I say both for in as I say both for individual <clears throat> training of ourselves but also for uh, uh, yeah if we're gonna if the group is going to hang together um, these are principles to to work from so that sense of First one is, say, in the Pali scriptural, dana, so giving, sharing. Uh, and that, that, that sense of dana is not just a material dana, although obviously, you know, again, we're finding a home and it's, it's, uh, uh, it's going to require a lot of generosity from people, and people have, have already have shown tremendous generosity, and just the fact that people have shown up today uh, is uh, is already a, a sort of a generosity of spirit. Uh, so it's wonderful to to see that. So that that sense of you know, of dana, of giving, of sharing, and and recognizing that uh, it is a communal endeavor. It is a group endeavor, um, and to look out for each other. Look out for each other with 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 a, a generosity of heart, uh, and because it's uh, 
Uh, I remember <clears throat> uh, one time myself going to pay respects to one of the great teachers in Thailand, and <clears throat> and he Ajahn Buddhadasa, and he was quite old at the time. He was over eighty, and his health was starting to really starting to slow down and fail. And he's a very prolific teacher, writer of books, and and uh, lecturer on on Buddhist principles over many many decades. And and he was also very rigorous in his taking themes and exploring them. Um, so I I uh, the question that I formulated to ask him was that you know as he's coming toward the end of his life <clears throat> what was the and and knowing that he's been teaching following themes of of the buddha's teachings for so long what's the main theme that he's trying to get across in his kind of in his his last days um and he's and he just laughed and said Oh, I'm not teaching much these days. I just tell, try to tell people over and over again, don't be selfish. <laughs> and you think it's so beautiful because you know that you know that is a way of distilling the essence of the Buddhist teachings, and yeah, just not not being selfish. It's a, it's a doorway to happiness, and it's a doorway of learning how to live together with each other, uh, and uh, helps help help live together so then that, that generosity is a foundation of that it's an expression of that uh, that's a, yeah unselfish rec recognition that uh, when it all comes down to it it's not about me <laughs> the, the world and the it's, it's just, that's just isn't how it works so that uh, the sense of generosity be willing to to help that and uh, but then, of course, this, how do we communicate together? And in the uh, <clears throat> the, the scriptural language, with the be a waja. Um, the waja is speech. Bia is kind of dear or loving. Uh, so that to to speak in ways that are that are are gentle and kind. Um, and you know we our communication sometimes can be so harsh and and judgmental whether it's towards each other, uh, to others but even you know, sometimes you hear yourself talking about yourself or you know how you're you're feeling about yourself and sometimes it can be so harsh and you think oh, it's really important to have this sense of loving uh, care uh, and uh, uh, that speech that is 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 kindly, um, because then it's it's there's a, a timeliness to that that's important. So that uh, living together <clears throat> as human beings, working together with a shared vision of finding a home, for, uh, building a community, um, it's going to require many, many people um, working together, and you're not always going to agree, uh, not even always going to get along, but it, you know, just be really kind to each other, because there really isn't <clears throat> much to do that's more noble then bring in to the world uh, a spiritual community that many many people can share. <clears throat> so it's really yeah, it's helpful. Uh, it facilitates that that communal harmony. The next one is is uh, what's called atajarya. It's it's acts of acts of service, um, but also in a sense that. In the scriptural language, atta is sort of what is the of essence. So, like, so the, the things that we're doing, yeah, make it essential, make it meaningful. 
I mean, make it make it be something that's worthwhile. Uh, and uh, so that, uh, and of course that you know, works in our personal lives. It works when we're trying to do something together as a, a you know, as working together. Uh, so that that sense of reflecting, investigating, well, what's what's actually beneficial? What's useful? What's wholesome? Uh, how, how do I bring this skillfulness into being uh, in these acts? And it's just very making it, trying to make it as conscious as possible. And of course, don't torture yourself with trying to be ide idealize that all the time, and then and then because we're not going to live up to it all the time. Uh, but it's a it's a baseline to keep returning to, uh, and, and and again with that sense of kindness and and uh, and compassion. And the last quality that the Buddha points to is what's called in in, in the Pali Samanatata, which means uh, a consistency in in all con things or impartiality to conditions and evenness of of treatment of of conditions around one and evenness of treatment of the people one is is with and uh, so that there's a a steadiness there that is really really quite beautiful and and really important because the if one's able to um <clears throat> work within these principles and and uh, remind oneself of them pay attention to them um, you'll find that the community that you build uh, is something that you really take a lot of joy in being a part of and other people want to will want to draw close uh, and and it's something that will be a legacy into the future and how it what kind of form it takes, uh, what, where it ends up. I mean, there's the, 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 the kind of proliferations on the table of where, where we should be and what, where, what, what it's going to look like. Uh, that's pretty varied. Uh, uh, but yeah, pay attention to those underlying qualities. So make sure it's done in a really harmonious way so that you, you enjoy the whole process. Uh, so.